I just want to say when men go take, they're not upfront about it like me. I'm a woman saying, you know, I only date men with my no. They don't say it. They just come. They gold dig you for money and for sex and for your cooking, for your electricity, for your cleaning, your laundry. They gold dig you for everything. At least women just gold dig you for some money. Men are going to even gold dig your room and stick babies in there, stick babies in there, trash your life and leave you a hot mess, girl. Okay. They even gold dig your hands and your legs, make you clean, make you cook. Girl, I'm telling you, they gold dig another type of way. That there's no such thing as a good man. Just a man that wants to be good for you and you specifically. Um, Aunt, B, Aunt B says, one silver lining about Andrew Tate. He may be opening more women's eyes about men's intentions. I actually agree with that. Like Andrew Tate is a blessing in disguise. And Kevin, Kevin Samuels, like if you guys date men who listen to those people, run, run away. I didn't realize until I went through it. The boys are really be plotting in advance to ruin a woman's life. Um, and then this one, I found my ex's notebook filled with women and what they could offer him. Girl, these men, they're writing books. They're writing in journals what women can give them. Jahira says, I often wondered if they know how manipulative their behaviors were. I wondered if it was their intent to break a woman's heart. Um, I actually want this specific comment. Let me look for it. Okay, I found the comment. One of them says, my ex told me that he wanted to get into a relationship because it would help him save money on bills and rent. Girl, do you hear why men are getting into relationships? You think they love? No, girl. They're thinking about their rent. I found my ex's notebook. Okay, I read that. Um, and then... Chardler Johnson also says, this is why you shouldn't let them guilt you for asking them for money. They won't hesitate to do much worse. Absolutely. Because when men gold dig, they do a different kind of gold digging, baby. They will take, they will take your soul. They gold dig women's souls and they... Hola, hola, mis amores, ¿cómo están? Hey, my loves, how are you? How are you doing today? So I'm back with another video podcast, okay? So today I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, men being gold diggers. I mean, these males are complete gold diggers. So, you know, all the stuff that's coming up. So I, let's go ahead and take a look at videos here where we have, where we have several points of view on this issue. Uh, and then, of course, at the end, um, I'll leave my thoughts uh, as well. I'll give you what some of my thoughts are on this particular issue as well. A lot of men, whether it's knowingly or unknowingly, mm. subscribe to hypergamy. Mm -hmm. Talk about it, as you like to say. They <laughs> subscribe to hypergamy. They don't want to admit because they want someone that is, let's just say, doing better yeah. in a lot of sectors in a general scheme of things but technically they're doing better than you but mm -hmm. if you were to say that to the average man they'll yeah. be like no she's not doing better than me but i know i want a woman of a certain standard well it just so happens the woman of a certain standard when you put it on a piece of paper bruh she's doing better than you yeah but if you say that no but if you say to a man oh hypogamy you know you managed to get a girl she should be so lucky to be with you yeah no right mm. sure but you say that i want a woman that's not a bum when they say that, what they really mean is a woman that gets her own money mm -hmm. because I ain't about to pay for her hair and nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want a, a dumb thing. Oh, you want a woman that's educated, maybe a degree level, but you didn't go to university. Yeah. I don't want me a girl. I'm not raising the next man's kids. Oh, you want a woman that, let's just say, preserved herself to a certain degree that doesn't have any kids, but you have three big mothers. A red flag that you have that you should warn people about. I think I can get clingy. You can get clingy? 
I think depending on the guy, that I might not be a red flag. What's one of your green flags? I'm an independent woman. I make my own money, so I hold it down. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you find that the more money you make, the less men you're interested in? Not that I'm interested in, but it is harder to date. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you earn a year? Six figures. Six figures? The more money that you guys make, the less options you have. Guys could be gold diggers, too. So. Is that a common experience that you have as a six-figure earning woman? Yeah. Do you meet a lot of loser guys who are trying to mooch off? I do. Yeah. This is why I'm single. I really have the same situation sometimes, especially when you get lit. Because people are always talking about gold digging women. In 2023, it's an epidemic of dudes trying to come up off women. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> this doesn't just apply to men. It's, it's, it goes both ways. That's a bar. <laughs> people don't think about No, they don't. Women really in most relationships are the breadwinners. Today, no, yeah. Nobody talks That's about that. That's what I'm that. saying. 2023. Bro, like, women running it up for real. Bro, girls spending 700 on their hair, 200 on their nails, yep. still got the car. Yep. Bro, they spending a the, bag. No, women spent bags, bro. The, and they still managing it okay, but it's just like, it's the fact that you're doing it. And there's a lot of women who manage their they money very fucking well. Ladies, y'all gotta be careful, man. Because it's some stuff. grimy dudes out here. They watching y'all Instagrams. They mm -hmm. like, damn, she taking this trip. She buying this, she buying that. Dude, she got a man? If yep. she ain't got no man, I'm finna try to bag her because she finna blow this bread on me. Facts. And they ain't got nothing going for them. Nothing. They, ain't, they can't even get no crib on their own. They ain't got no car for real. They got hella debt. But they, they you, you to come up. And it's the thing about putting all your information on the internet. Because if I'm looking to get at a girl or whatever, and I know everything she like. I know mm -hmm. her favorite restaurants. I know what happened in her past relationships. I know what she her favorite place to travel. I know everything she everything about her because she posts everything. Yep. It makes it so much easier for me to get her. Yes. I know what attracts her. I know how to mirror her. I know to say, oh, she she like this kind of guy. Let me be that. If I'm a piece of shit dude that's trying to come up, <sighs> so it's easy a dirty to game. It. And yes, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Oh my gosh, I always forget. <laughs> go ahead and smash that like button for me. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. Right. I think women get a really bad rap about using men, especially for like status and money, right? That's the old stereotype, gold digger. It's always women using men to get their money or get their status, their wealth, et cetera, et cetera. Just pretty much using men, right? Men do that too. In fact, I see way more men do it than I do women. Because if you're like a high level guy, you're gonna see a woman as like, all right, I'm gonna sleep with this girl. I'm gonna date her and you know, it's a romantic relationship. That's the way it goes. But with men, it's different because men will come to you as friends. They'll pretend to be your boy, pretend to be your friend. Hey man, you ever need help with anything? Let me know, a little bit of this. Little, you know, those bro shakes you always see. But these dudes, what they're doing is they're trying to use you for your status, your wealth, your connections. It's all networking, bro. Your network is your net worth, which is true. But what I'm saying is all these guys are out here totally worried about women using them for money and status. It's guys that are doing it just as often, if not more. I can only fuck with you for your status. They want to see what you about. They want to see what you do. A lot of dudes that even try to pursue me, that's their thing. Like, oh, I'm super attracted to you and I like you a lot on social media. Like, why? Let me, why? I want to so get what? you in person. A lot of men are gold diggers more than these bitches nowadays. I swear to God, these men are gold diggers for money, clout, rent, somewhere to stay, a shower, food. They'll take your hoodies nowadays. What the fuck? Men are gold diggers. Yes. I think guys are more gold diggers than girls, hear me out, because I dated quite a few guys in my lifetime and they kind of treated me like shit. But now that I'm a working girly with a nice place to live in a nice car, they all want to come back and act right. So if you can't love me at my Chevy Cruze, you can't. We don't talk enough about male gold diggers. And I hate the fact that the face of gold digging is female. Because oftentimes women who are described as gold diggers are not scamming these men. It's usually a very open, you know, arrangement where the men are fully aware and are happy to provide economic resources and the women are happy to provide company. Nobody's scamming anybody. But we don't talk nearly enough about how majority of men will pretend and be dishonest about their true and real intentions with a woman just to benefit from her emotional labor, her domestic abilities, cooking, cleaning, nurturing, and then whatever perceived social, economic, and political clout they want to get from this woman. We don't talk nearly enough about it. These men are digging more than gold. To downplay her because her success makes you feel emasculated. And by the way, what's your name again? And this is why you should never, ever feel bad for wanting to date a man with resources or with super high success, okay?
time and time again, we see women trying to build these men up, trying to make these nobodies into somebodies, and trying to give hope in places where there just simply isn't any hope. Never date a man that is below your means. Ladies, he will resent you. He will resent you. He will plot on you. Like if you watched, please go watch the original creator's video. If you really dug deep into the actual story, this man was plotting on Simone, like plotting on her achievements, watching her, figuring out, okay, like like feminine as hell, watching watching the gymnastics, um, you know, Olympics and, and going, okay, who's gonna be famous, who's not? Like totally plotting, okay? Men do this as well, ladies. He is a hypergamy sister. You know what I mean? He did his thing. He, he's hypergamous. He was on my page taking tips and notes. As funny as it is, I'm being dead serious. When you want to feel bad for dating a man who has resources or a high, you know, uh, economic status, think about these types of men and think about if you do date down, the consequences that come with it. These relationships are always usually toxic and they're prone to not lasting and not working out. So never think you're doing a man a favor by bragging about your accomplishments, achievements, how much money you earn per year. The more secretive you keep that, the better. Because you never know that these demons are out here plotting on women. And then, instead of being grateful that they got him, trying to tear them down any chance that they get. He thought he was Lori Harvey. Right? That's why this 50-50 thing, I mean, they didn't hesitate. And most of these males... Uh, have kicked it up a couple of notches and they don't even pay anything at any point in time. I mean, imagine not even being able to pay for a date or a full meal or a nice meal when you're trying to invite a woman out on a date. Imagine. So these males are gold diggers and the worst part is, a lot of them are gold diggers, and the worst part is they want you to lie to them and make still make them feel like they are better than you even though you make just as much money as them or more money than them or even if you don't make as much money as they do you make enough to cover yourself you make enough to cover everything that you need and all your needs and then you go and you link up with a 50 50 bro girl what kind of contract is that because at, at the end of the day everything that you everything that you do uh especially within a relationship dynamic that's that's like a business contract it's like what are you what are you doing you're like doing all the work and then doing and then paying 50 percent of all the bills it's like these these males aren't even useful um when it comes to being in relationships anymore because there's nothing that they really bring into the table and um most of them in the 90th percentile are gold diggers they're looking for women and then they'll turn around and say well she better have her own money she better have her own stuff because i don't want to pay for nothing um males are the ones that are looking to marry up and males are the ones that want to make sure that they either marry someone of greater financial success and worldly success than they are or marry someone uh, that brings with them said inheritance that they can add to whatever it is that they have or they, that they can use as a come up right um uh, males will always tell you but like with their own mouth oh yeah like you know i'm just looking for my type quote unquote my type right so what's usually their type oh their type is usually all all the stuff that they want to make sure that they can get from that particular woman so whether that's someone that cooks someone that cleans um someone that goes 50 50 oh my god the worst gold diggers of them all are males that have no shame and go 50 50 you know <laughs> and then um or someone that has a bunch of wealth and it's even worse nowadays because the males have such fragile egos compared to historically i mean their egos is non-existent compared to all throughout history so they won't they'll they'll want all these things from a woman and can't even admit to themselves that the woman is more successful than them they can't even admit to themselves that the woman brings more to the table naturally than they bring to the table even though throughout history women were essentially traded they were traded as the value right so um uh the family or the father would marry off uh, the daughter, right? Because that was the value. So they would literally choose who they wanted the daughter to marry. And they would marry off the daughter uh, because in that contractual agreement, right? That means that whatever um, properties or whatever um, wealth 
that that family has by marrying off the daughter now it's combining their wealth with uh, the husband's wealth as well and so it was like this huge deal right so um it was it was also not helpful because it just further objectified women and I, you know it's probably why males are having such a hard time today with the fact that most women are actually doing better than them in every area especially financially and so they truly i mean they, they struggle to figure out their place now you know they they've lost their place in society and they are struggling struggling with that um but yeah ladies i think definitely be careful because these males i mean they they will they will literally extort everything from you um and you will have nothing left to give and most if not all males are like this they're literally going out there looking to use you um looking to get as much as they can get from you and that this is regardless of whether or not they even like you or get they, they can even stomach you like if a male has the opportunity to use somebody especially a woman he will um and that's just been my experience and what i've seen happen to so so many women and what i've seen um uh, happen right in front of my eyes right and so ladies this is another yet another really good reason to center yourself here in 2024 focus on you focus on your growth focus on um making sure that you learn how to protect yourself and not being around males or making your life about males i mean they don't really bring anything to the table at this point they, they're gonna have to figure that out for themselves but as far as us i mean we're able to work we're able to take care of ourselves um, even if the male makes more money, there's no reason we would enter such, such a contract if he's this, like despicable or mean or putting hands on us. You know, it doesn't it doesn't make sense for us. And most of the time, we're even more educated than them, right? It's like they don't they can't even read. Like for the life of me, they don't read books. They don't read anything. It's so weird to me. Um, but y'all, yeah, leave it in the comments below what your thoughts are on this particular issue, okay? Let me know what you think. Um, and yes, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Oh my gosh, I always forget. <laughs> go ahead and smash that like button for me. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me, right? And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.